Oh, it's Grandma. <laughs> hey, oh, that face, how many gold? I ain't gonna lie, that face would scare me and th that face would make me laugh and shit at myself at the same time. What? Oh my God. If she don't get your creepy ass out of here, little stalker ass. Hey, how about the door? How about that door? Hey, that door. Okay. Me being a great fan of survival horror games, it's inevitable that I would see a game and want to go ahead and play it, especially if it's horror related. I just personally started playing Dead Space for the first time in like, I don't know what, seven years? For uh, How long Dead Space been out? But yes, I've been holding back on my survival horror games. Recently, a new game came out called now stray souls is a game that is independently worked on and uh so i'm not expecting top-notch graphics top-notch gameplay obviously but i am here for the experience and if you guys are wondering why i'm wearing a mask well not only because it's halloween but people in the household have covid so i need to wear a mask i don't want to catch covid point blank right Point blank. All right, stray souls. Here we go, baby. Let's see what I'm going to get myself into now. Okay. That was pretty early. Getting myself into some crazy stuff already. I hope he's okay. Yeah, I I sure as hell hope he's yeah he's he's not okay. Yep, he's not okay. Oh, what the hell? Nah. Uh. Um, that's some creepy ass shit. That's creepy. Not in a fun way. Uh, did you just go full Amity though? I feel like he went full anime Amityville. We're gonna hear about this in six class news. Eighteen years later. Wow. Uh, it's getting late. Nobody's gonna swipe right in me anyways. I should probably clean up the mess downstairs before I crash for the night. <laughs> All right, hold down to check current objectives, go downstairs and clean up the mess. Pretty decent looking room. He looks like he knows how to tidy up. All right, let's go downstairs. Find a container for your dirty clothes. Oh, we're doing laundry. I should oh. finish cleaning before I go back upstairs. Okay. 
We're doing laundry. Let's do it. Pick up remaining clothes. No girl is going to date me with a house this messy. <laughs> Ah, uh, gamers. Okay, no, really. Why do you have clothes right in the dining room, though? <laughs> no way. It's a lot of clothes. Scattered throughout the house. Alright guys, uh, today is laundry date. Is there anything in here? Alright, things to do. Unpack computer and game console. Okay, unpack it. <sighs> Grocery shopping, call folks. Once settled, finish up rough. Okay. He's gonna own a dating website? Okay. Go through boxes in the attic. Never want to go there. Find the keys to lock doors. Laundry. Obviously, we're doing that now. Bath. Uh, bands. Okay. All right. It's got a pretty healthy list right there. Pretty healthy. It's an interesting list. I like it. Oh, I forgot to pick up these. Interesting. There's an old lady in the house. Okay. Mr. Daniel. I took the liberty of bringing in cleaning crew to take care of packing up all of your grandmother's personal items and giving the house a quick dusting. All of her things were boxed up and moved to the attic for you to go through at your ladies. What was that? I ain't like that. Uh. The hell? I don't like that. I should finish cleaning before I go back upstairs. Um, bro. Do you not hear that? Shit! Jesus! Oh! I need to turn the volume down. We're gonna get a noise complaint. I would bet. Go to your computer and check the notifications. What about laundry? All right. I guess no laundry. Let's go upstairs. Can he run? I guess not yet. Hey, it's a little pup. Hey, cutie. You feeling all right, Klopshik? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> That's cute. Interactions are actually pretty good. He's uh, honking and yelling at something. You already know the old saying. Animals can sense things we can't. Liked what they saw. Oh, he's dating, y'all. He's dating. Scare me half to death. Who, me? I know. <laughs> I'm no looker, but I didn't think I was that ugly. Damn. I was cleaning up the house, didn't mute my monitor, and the notifications made me jump. You have no idea how loud I had it turned up. Wait, what do you mean? I mean that I have the volume turned up to max on my monitor. Oh, so that's what that was. 
Uh, you heard that? How? Yeah, I heard it. Took me by surprise too. What? You literally would have to be hold. Wait, hold on a second. Oh wow, the app says you're less than a mile away, but you literally have to be next door to have heard that. Where do you live? I live in River Lake. Oh, I live here too. Ha ha. Well, what do you know? We're probably neighbors. I wonder if you can see my window house from the window. Maybe. Want me to look? Yeah, I'll flash my room lights. Okay, do it. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna look. No way. That's crazy. No fucking way. I can see your light. How close am I? You're literally next door. <laughs> oh, well, that's weird. You're telling me that. <laughs> what are the odds of that? Oh, well, I guess you just bought the house. I didn't buy the house. I inherited it from my grandmother when she died. I just got the keys yesterday morning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Were you too uh, close? I didn't know that she even existed until a week ago when a lawyer got in touch with me to tell me she had died and left me the house. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. That sucks. Hell yeah, that sucks. Not really. I was adopted when I was like a year old. So yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Not exactly a lot of info to go on, but hey, free house. <laughs> That must have been awful growing up without knowing your real family. It was alright. I had... To... Okay, so we're ha we're literally having a conversation here. Well, that's good. Kind of glad it's you living there and not her anymore. She was a weird one. Why was she weird? Don't talk about my grandma like that. She was just super creepy. There were always these shady looking people coming and going from the house late at night. They would come to the house and pray, chant, ritualize. I don't know. It made sleeping really difficult. Grandma was an occultist. Dope. Dope. Uh, not my first choice of words, but whatever floats your boat. <laughs> That's a fact. It's intriguing to hear about someone I have never knew before involved in some worship and devil type stuff. I don't know what they were doing, but the noises coming from that house were definitely not some retired old lady watching Murder, She Wrote. <laughs> Cute. With the volume cranked up. I don't know. Old people do weird things, so why do you know so much about my grandma? You know, besides the fact that you live next door. Oh, I snuck in there with friends on a dare a few years ago. Place looked normal, at least the rooms I was able to get into. Oh, yeah? Is breaking and entry one of your hobbies? <laughs> Good conversation. Not exactly, but seriously, you haven't seen anything weird while moving your stuff in? There's a few rooms that are locked and I haven't found the keys to them yet. But the lawyer who handled the will said that some of her stuff got moved into the attic, so they're probably in a box somewhere. I'll figure it out tomorrow. I think I'm going to go to bed. Really? Now? Aren't you at least a little curious? I know I am. I, I kind of am. Not really, to be honest. Too tired. Oh, you suck. Fine. Get some sleep, old man. <laughs> but check out those locked rooms and let me know, okay? The suspense is killing me. Well, see. Um, I'm seriously going to bed now. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Online dating is so overrated. Is it, buddy? Yes, there's no time like the present. Those rooms are in the boxes of her stuff in the attic. Explore the attic. We really have to go to the attic now. Just the attic? 
Uh, okay, that was fast. I don't need to worry about it right now. You don't? Because... Well, it says... Was a beloved member of the community. She was heavily involved in the local food banks, animal shelters, and the community garden. She was the last surviving member of her family. Ah, interesting. I wonder who they can be talking about. Oh, is that a shotgun? Yes, that is. What we got here? Interact. Uh, maybe something you don't want to be touching. Uh, nope. Yep, that doesn't look like a a, a picture of Mickey Mouse. And that doesn't look like the Eye of Sorum. And uh, yeah. Oh, okay. We keep going. The pagan calendar. That's on. That's wow. All right. So your grandma was definitely into some weird shit. I guess Check for that old clock downstairs. Oh, we're solving puzzles. Okay. We're gonna be solving puzzles now. Let's fix the grandfather clip. What the hell? I ain't scared. Is what she run, but I, I ain't scared. Grandfather clock of all grandfathers. Well, that's fixed, and nothing happened. Did I miss something? Yeah, you probably forgot the batteries. What the hell? How about we don't? Can we not go back upstairs? All right. Well, looks like we gotta go upstairs. Wait, every reflection. I just realized his reflection is facing his back, not his front. That's weird. Oh, what the f... Okay. That happened. Did that book just explode? You left it open, buddy. Should've never did that. What the hell is... About it right now. You sure about that, buddy? Bro, that sound is so creepy. I've gotta tell Martha about this. There's no way this is real. This is... Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's real, buddy. Huh? I'm like, now do you believe her? My clock started working. Solve the grandfather clock puzzle. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and solve this puzzle. Hold on, let me go upstairs real quick. There's gotta be a clue inside that book. Bro, that sound sounds like it's inside my house. Right? Look at it? Doesn't look like I can go back and look at it. Maybe it shows me exactly where to put the symbols at? Maybe not. All right, it's fine. We'll just go downstairs, not there. What makes it harder is that it doesn't show me that it's highlighted. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. That doesn't look that desk in the attic. I just did it. <laughs> heavy breathing, hello. I don't like the heavy breathing. Unlock the desk in the attic. All right, that's what I'm exactly what I'm gonna do. There it is, baby. Two batteries. Two non-Duracell batteries. But they are triple A's, so. Triple A batteries, here we go. Go to your computer and update Martha. Oh, okay. He's got the little Silent Hill thing going. That's actually cool. Oh, wait. Not my room. Definitely. Not my room. All right. Let's update Martha and be like, hey, Martha, you was right the whole fucking time. Hey, you there? I couldn't sleep after we talked and I did some exploring. I got you thinking, huh? What did you find? I don't know. Maybe it's a coincidence. It's just weird. What was it? I found a calendar. It had the day my grandmother died circled in red. Oh shit, well, that's creepy. Do you think somebody knew that what, what was going to happen to her? I don't know. This is all getting a bit overwhelming and weird. Bullshit, you're fucking with me. No joke, I swear. Well, what do you think it means? Do you think maybe she put it there? That she knew she was going to... You quit it. You're creeping me out. There's nothing... There's enough weird shit going on in this house. One of the doors in there is padlocked shut. I guess the date could be the combination for the lock. But that also seems to be crazy. Well, go check it out and tell me what you find. Jeez, you're pushy. Fine, I'll be right back. Why don't you come the fuck over? How about that? Oh, baby. Go to the padlock door. I don't remember seeing a padlock door. 
Hey, pup. You sleeping? Yep, he's sleeping. Oh, yeah, he's sleep. Jesus. God, I really need a haircut. But, yeah, you do. Padlock door. Where is that at? Obviously, it's not here. It's definitely uh, downstairs, isn't it? Yep, I think it is. I remember seeing a padlock door, though. Well, then again, it never took me to it. So, that creaking, bro. The creaking. The cr no, seriously, where's the padlock door at? Guess that's going. Hey, my laundry that I never got to do. It's this nice two story house, you know? The padlock door upstairs? I guess is upstairs. Yep, definitely upstairs. We're going upstairs. Right, let's go back upstairs. Is there a padlock door over here that I missed out on? Can I just grab the shotgun? Oh my god, I'm so scared. What the hell? He goes down automatically. That's cute. Thank you for that. I needed that. I think I saw that already. It's the only door, right? Oh, there's another door. God, why? I didn't see this. Okay. Padlock, okay. Wait, matter of fact, I don't even know when she died. Wait, what's the date? Let's go back up here. I think this is where I need to get the date. All right, the date is... Grandma Judith died on September twenty September 13th. How nice. September September 13, 2023. Okay. How ironic. September 13. Okay. So do I put 0913? Maybe 0913? Yep. Okay. Oh, there's no way this is real. This is the day she died. Want to go upstairs and tell Martha now? It's a little kid's room. Am I really sitting here playing with kids' toys? Rotate the blocks to reveal the message. All right, I'm going to guess... Do I have an O? Oh, yes. We have one O. Hope. I'm guessing it's Hope. Hold on. I'm playing Wheel of Fortune right now. All right. Wheel of Fortune, yes. Hope you like... Do we have a K? Yes, we do. Hope you like... Us. Dumb. Thus. Like, spoos. You know? <laughs> Okay, yeah, it has to be new. New house. Your new house warming gift. <laughs> Hope you like your new house. Like the last word is a little harder because I'm like, I don't know what the hell do you mean? I was going to say warming gift, but there's no way to put that. Hope you like your new house. Could be his name. What is his name anyway? I didn't even get to see his name. I can't believe I forgot his name. Hold on. What is the character's main name? That's cute. Uh, that's definitely cute. Okay. All right. This got to be... So the D belongs there. That's the only thing that belongs there. What the hell? No, it can't be kingdom. Hafa? I hope you like your new house, Hafa. <laughs> Guess not. Let me see. What the hell is his name? I need to figure out his name. Let's go to his computer real quick. I sure as hell wasn't paying attention to his name. And I know your name, sir. Maybe there's a clue in, in the, of her, maybe it's her name. Let's see. Does it have her name in there? Let me see. I just want to see if, if her name is there. Grandma? Could it be grandma? No way. I think it's grandma. Hold on. No, it can't be grandma because there's uh or it could be. Look, I'm, I'm going to try grandma. I'm going to try grandma because maybe I'm, just maybe. Hold on. That's her name's written somewhere around here. But let's try this. Let's try grandma. It is one more letter missing. So if I put M, there's no M here. That's what it was? Hell no. Hell no. Uh... That's a creepy ass face. What was it? Grandson. Hope you enjoy your new <laughs> grandson the whole fucking time. Grandson. Would you stop snoring? Grandson. Hope you enjoy your new house, grandson. I should have known. I actually should have known. Hey, yeah, that doesn't look like it was like that. Hey, are you there? I got the door open and went in there and it looked like a baby's room with a crib and everything. Okay, now I know you're just fucking with me. There's no way she had a baby. I never saw her with one. Never heard one. And the only people in and out were those creepy adults. 
So then, how do you explain what I found? I can't explain it. Why would the room be padlocked? It's true. Why would the room be? I don't know. No sane person would lock a baby in like that. That's so creepy. Well, that's life. Creepy. I know. And there were these toy blocks. It was just weird. Toy blocks, like the ones with the letters. And they were arranged in a message welcoming me to the house. Okay, that's bullshit. No lie, I'm literally getting chills just thinking about it. So what's next? I don't know. God damn it. What now? That, um, find a breaker box. Okay. Every horror movie has to have a breaker box, right? Never see six to amaze me with breaker boxes. I'm guessing the breaker box is in the basement or the first floor. Are we in Texas? Keep looking at that. All right, breaker box. Where you at, brody? Oh my God, that scared the bejesus out of me. Bow, bow. Oh, what the fuck was that? What am I staring at? What the hell? I'm a bit confused. What just happened? Did I die some way? Did I flip? Did I literally slip on something? I, I don't know what happened. But let's go back upstairs and calmly go back on my computer. Are you there? My power just went out. Dude, get out of the house. Something isn't right. You can come over here in the morning. We can both go and figure out what's going on. Yes, that's a good fucking idea. Are you kidding? I don't even know you. You could be some 50-year-old guy named Chuck posing as a cute girl online. As a matter of fact, I'm done with this. No, bro, bro, what? Look, I'm not some old guy. I'm not messing with you. I'm going to get dressed and come over. Give me 10 minutes. Just wait and don't do anything stupid. No, don't do that. I'm already weirded out as it is. Martha. Hello? All right. That was... She said, don't do anything stupid. But I'm going to assume he's going to do something stupid. It's probably not Martha. Okay, somebody is definitely fucking with me. Might as well stay busy, though. Not like I'm going to get any sleep now. What is it? Oh, it's Grandma. <laughs> hey. Oh, that face. How many gold? I ain't going to lie. That face would scare me. And th that face would make me laugh and shit at myself at the same time. What? Oh, my God. If she don't get your creepy ass out of here. Little stalker ass. Hey, how about the door? How about that door? Hey, that door. Okay. Alright. Um, hello, Grandma. You here? Nope, you're not here. You're upstairs. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Oh, that's how you turn it on and off. That makes sense. So, she lives across the street. She's yet to be here. Find a music room? Oh, uh, okay. Well, found the music room. More puzzles? Solve the puzzle and play the piano? Jesus. One, two. So I'm going to guess orange is nine. Let's do that again. One, three, six, seven, ten. Let's try this. One, Three, seven, eleven, ten, six. Ooh, got it, baby. Holy shit. Stupid baby. What did I open? Oh, is that my room? It's crazy. It's creepy. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't step into it. No! Oh, what the hell? Still uneasy from the previous nights. Daniel leaves his grandmother's house and stays with his new friend, Martha. Oh, Martha, what took you so damn long? In the morning, they take Daniel's car and set it off to uncover more information about his mysterious past. What took you so long, Martha? You said 10 minutes. It was over an hour. <laughs> so I'm guessing we're at the second part of the game. Explain what the hell's going on. I, I appreciate being able to crash into your couch last night, but... Look, I get that this is all really weird. There are a few things you need to understand. And I promise that it'll all make sense. Or how 
at least it will if you keep an open mind. Open mind. I'll try my best. All right, open mind. <laughs> I guess you get to choose your poison. Oh, my second floor closet door opened a, well, I don't know, a portal? I was looking at an open field from my second floor. My mind is about as open as it's going to get. Well, I guess the first thing you should know is that this is so hard to say. Well, spit it out, then. Okay, okay. Look, I knew you were going to move into that house. I've kind of been waiting for you for a few years now. Stalker? Where? What the hell? Were you stalking me? Get to choose your actions, which is cool. What the hell? Stalking me? I wasn't stalking you. I've been trying to keep an eye on you. It's so that you were safe. Oh, a little guardian angel. I'm moving in yesterday because, well, I know some things about your grandmother. Your whole family, actually. That's some pretty stuff to lay on someone you just met last night. I know, but just listen. Have you ever wondered why you were adopted? I mean, like, what actually happened to your mom? Uh, yeah, I do want to. I didn't take you in. Not really. My mom died during childbirth. That was a lie. You did have a family. You had a brother and a sister. And your mom didn't die during childbirth. She was murdered. She was pregnant with you when it happened. Oh, holy shit. Are you serious? Who told you this? Wow. Interesting. Holy sh shit. Are you serious? I told you this. That's what I said. Anyone would have told me if it was true. Even if it is. Sure, the records would have been buried. How did you find this out? I was adopted too. Huh? After the incident, I was injured pretty bad. A shotgun blast at close range will do that. Shotgun blast. That my amnesia was a result of the trauma, and it took most of my life to recover my memory of what happened. Wait, you're saying what I think you're saying. About five years ago, I started to remember things and started searching for answers about what happened. That's when I found out you were alive. That you survived too. No fucking way. That's his sister? That's impossible. Daniel, I know it's a lot, but I'm your sister. No, I. Well, it's true. I was there. Okay, so I choose to believe you. Well, I was wondering who my family might have been. It's still that one. Say I choose to believe you. Why did our dad kill my mother and our brother? It's like a stretch to think he just went nuts one day. It's crazy. I saw it. Unless you know what good old grandma was up to. Best I can piece it together. She was someone pretty high up in a secret society. Hmm. And whatever cult she was a part of had her brainwash our father into doing it. That doesn't make any sense. She or they possibly have had to mind control some guy into killing his family. Well... What little I found out about the cult says that they needed a child to be born from extreme trauma. An act of violence that could force its birth so that the child could act as a vessel for... Well, I really don't know. A vessel for something not good. And that child would have to attain maturity before being of use to them. You know what today is. My fucking birthday. Birthday. Oh. Bingo. Why do you think you were finally able to move into Grandma's house yesterday? The very day before your 18th birthday? Because they planned on doing whatever they intended as soon as you were... of age. So, how did you stay off Grandma's radar? You live next door, how did she not know? I moved into that house two years ago. By then, I knew there was no way she'd recognize me. Mm. You weren't born yet, but the last time she came to visit, I was only a year old. So, when I got the house next to hers, I just kept my head down and avoided her as much as I could. I would avoid that face too. Keeping an eye on everything. Oh man, this is all too much. So, now we're going where? And why are we going to wherever it is that we're going? I was able to track down where our family was supposedly buried. And... Well, there's something I need to see for myself before I know what to do next. I need to know if our dad is buried there too. Fuck. We're getting close, and I'll get my answers. And yours, real soon. 
I know this is a lot. Are you okay? Not okay. Daniel, look out! Couldn't I possibly not seen that? from where we need to go. Looks like there's a trail over there that we can take to where the gravesite is. Alright, let's walk from here. It shouldn't be a bad hike. Mm -hmm. But you go on ahead. I need to grab my bag from the trunk and handle a little something. I'll join you when I'm done. Uh, what? No, we should stick together. Go on, you big baby. I was going to send you on ahead this whole time. I just need to do this one thing really quick. Alone. Fine. Uh, whatever. Just... Be careful. Call me if you need a hand, I guess. Thanks, but I'll be okay. I promise it won't take long. Mm. It'll be worth it. What they will say. One more thing. What? Shit, Martha, a gun? Really? When I first found out about you, I started looking further into the society that Grandma belonged to. I wasn't able to dig up much, but I did find out about a gathering they were having. I managed to find a place to hide and watch. And during the meeting, well, I stole this. Huh. It's some kind of relic for them. Seriously? Just a fucking handgun. I know it looks like it's nothing special, but the way they were handling it, they were touching Excalibur or something. I want you to take it, just to be safe. I already took it to a gun range and tested it. It works just like a normal gun. <laughs> You're joking, right? I've never even held a gun before. Just take it. I'll feel better knowing you've got something to defend yourself in case those nut jobs come looking for you. I'll pass it here. Daniel makes his way to the cemetery through the forest, leaving Martha behind to set up a surprise for his brother. For her brother's birthday. Okay. So she's really thinking about his birthday. At a time like this. What the fuck? Yes. What the fuck indeed. Put the phone down, sir. Yeah. No, no, I'm just freaked out. I get it. It is spooky out here. Christ, we haven't run into anybody else. Yeah. Okay, wasn't I supposed to be the one calling you? I mean, yeah, no, you're right. I'm sure I'll still get to play the damsel in distress at some point. But seriously, call me if anything happens. Wow. Oh, and uh, thanks for letting me keep collapsing your place while we do all this. I wonder what they did in her place. Promises on that. It's getting very silent hilly. Unequip. Alright, simple. Aim. Flashlight. Dodge. We got the dodge on deck. Health bar. Oh, the sprint. Oh, finally. Uh -huh. Not much of a sprint, but okay. So can you sprint and uh yes you can. Okay. It's actually pretty decent uh so far. Let's see if we shoot our first enemy. How we're gonna be This definitely gives me silent hill vibes though. I think more Silent Hill than Resident Evil. Alright. Misty Lake, 0 0.9 miles. Misty Lake, 2.6 miles. Uh, that's cute. That's very cute. I'm gonna go the short route. Let's go the shorter route. How about that? What the hell is this? What's this? I don't need to worry about it right now. You sure? Man. Alright. Alright, cool. I'm so used to clicking in to run. Bend yourself against the monsters. Okay. We're about to shoot some monsters. Wherever they may be. Any day now. Oh, found ya. What the hell was that? Bro, this is creepy. Oh, you can't, uh... Okay, yeah, you guys are... You guys are very creepy. You can't reload while you... Daniel, run! Daniel, run. <laughs> Daniel, run. Seriously. Run, Daniel. Run. I don't know where I'm running to, but yeah, just run. Oh, what the hell? Bro, that thing is so annoying. they frogs. Whatever they are, I don't like them. I don't... Okay, push. Damn, okay, they don't die fast. Okay, froggy. Alright, they are annoying. Alright, well, those guys are dead. What's this? It's ammo? Interesting. Alright, spin yourself against the monsters. What's this? More ammo? Oh, uh, okay. Damn, okay, that's very generous. <laughs> oh, hi. Creepy crawling ass monsters. You can't reload while you shoot. Oh, oh no, no stings again. Oh, hello. You're okay, I see you guys don't want to die fast. It's all good. Yo, you didn't reload the gun? What the hell? Those things are annoyingly optimistic right now on catching me. Ah. 
You wanna catch these hands? Let's do it. Catch these hands. Explode, baby. Are you? Oh, oh, hello. Hi. Did you call for room service? Oh, what the hell? Did I just dodge him? Like, what the? <laughs> oh, bro, I even see him still there. There we go. Oh, Martha. Are you okay? I heard gunfire. I'm alive. If that's what you mean by okay. There's this guy attacked by a weird figure faced dog monster. A, a fucking what? That's what I said. I, 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 I can't explain it, but there's something else out of here, too. It's like, it's like the whole world is descending into freaky mode, and we've got front row seat tickets. You're okay, though? Yeah. Does it look like I'm okay? Monster child. Glad you're okay. Just stay on the path and try to avoid any more encounters if you can. Alright, I'll stay in the path. I'll definitely stay in the path. But they're in my way. Uh, like he's coming in my way. So easy to miss them because they my health is completely low. I just noticed that. Great. Ah. <laughs> just wanted to blast its ass. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So that's gonna be it for today's Stray Souls episode. Um, can't get my opinions thoroughly yet. I definitely want to play more of the game to get my opinion on it. But so far, um, I feel like the controls are very clunky. Fighting aspect is pretty not solid, obviously. Not solid at all. But I feel like it has potential. It has potential. I mean, if you definitely update this game, I feel like this game could do a lot better. Story line so far is pretty intriguing. I do enjoy the story so far. But other than that, I feel like I, I still want to play some more just to get my actual results on it. But first impression wise, I, I have to admit the gameplay is very quonky. It's, it's not fluent as I expected it to be. Um, the story is really good. So far, I'm actually intrigued in the story. But other than that, I definitely want to play some more so I can give a more detailed review of this game. So, yeah, I'll be definitely reviewing this game on 1UP Level Up Gaming. So, yeah, let's play some more of this game on the next episode. Give me my final verdicts on this. Stray Souls.